Hi Flosstube, it's Diane. Today is December 27th, 2023. And I thought I would do kind of a whip video. But I hope you all had a good Christmas. We had a really good Christmas. Um, we had 12 of our kids at home. And it was just very relaxed kind of way I like to, to spend my holidays. My son gifted me this beautiful box. Oh, there you can see it. With a butterfly etched here and it says death by a thousand stitches. It's supposed to be death by a thousand stitches, but that's okay. And inside is a pair of scissors. So, gotta use that. My daughter Christmas gifted me a accessory Nomi bag and my Nomi backdrop here and 36 count beetroot fox and rabbit 46 count tornado fox and rabbit 36 count mirage picture this plus 46 count, no, 40 count, so that's 36 count, this is 40 count Cyprium, Fox and Rabbit, and 40 count Murky, I'm sorry, this is, picture this plus, as is this one, PTP. So now I get to play with some fabrics. I also received a quilting frame, I picked it out myself. And it's this one, the cutie tabletop quilting frame. So I've been watching videos to figure out how to do this so I can actually do the quilting part of my quilts. I love the piecing. And usually I like the cutting, but I love the piecing. And this is the quilting aspect. So I'm trying to figure that out. And when the tree is down, when the trees, I have two trees. When they're down, rearranging the living room furniture, and there's some furniture in the family room, and doing all that, and we'll do that this week. I had mentioned, and I have a slight cold, so I'm going to be sniffling, unfortunately. I uh, mentioned my one of my last videos that I wasn't planning on doing whip parade, because I did one in 2022, in October, if I remember right, end of October. Um, but a friend, a dear friend said, well, what if you just did, these are the whips I touched in 2023 or finished or started. So I went through, I watched the video, I had my list and that's what this video is going to be. These pieces, I believe I touched in 2023. There's a couple I'm really not sure if I did or not, but, um, Many of them I did. Now I unkitted a couple. Seasons of Trees by Rosewood Manor. So you're not going to see that one. Queen Elizabeth II. The Seasons of Trees, I boo-booed. And I could not figure it out. And I could not fudge it. So I said, you know what? It's not worth the struggle. So I put it aside. So I'll start that piece again. Uh, Qu Queen Elizabeth II by Teresa Gill. Um, I don't like the fabric she's on. I think that's what's keeping me from stitching on her. So I'm going to restart that one. Wherefore art thou? I'm going to use the same fabric, but I'm going to restart it. I, I, yeah. Christmas in London. Again, I don't like the fabric. So eventually I'll restart it. And Cassiopeia, which I have over here, I'll show you the fabric I'm going to restart her on. And Savior's Praise. Savior's Praise, I keep going back and forth. Do I start it again? Because I made a big block in the corner. Although I, I was able to fudge around it, but that one is, is, do I restart it? What do I do with it? So I'm not sure on that one. I gave... Winter in the Forest. I passed that pattern on. 
uh, to to half cross, half stitch cross stitch Dina and Baroque by Ink Circles I gave to my daughter who because I had like one medallion partly done and there's nine and then there's a border and she has I want to say seven of the nine done and possibly part of the border. I'll try and adjust this light a little bit. Give me the glare on my glasses. The joy of wearing glasses. Eh, it is what it is. So those you're probably you're not gonna see. And there's one I'm gonna show that I'm really thinking of un I'm not finishing, but I keep going back and forth. So let's jump in. No particular order. Um, but I will do the pieces that I definitely finished in 2023 first. I did the memorial piece for my aunt, which I did a little video on that. Send it off. They received it. It's one of those bittersweet projects. Um, but I am glad it's done. It was uh, Blooming Bouquets by Jeanette Douglas, number two. And I personalized it. And you can watch that video of like six minutes. Um, but sent that on to my uncle. And this one was a new start in 2023. And if I read my notes correctly, I started it like April. And finished it August, I think. And no, I... That can't be right. Because I brought this one to the retreat... What in the world? I have another voicemail? <sighs> anyway. Um, let's see. Spring Quaker by Lila Studios. Oh, I began it in April and, and finished it in May. It was just so much fun to stitch on. And it's on 40 count. Uh, Vintage Country Mocha, the one that's printed. I used the DMC conversion because I believe this called for overdyes. And I used the DMC colors, and they're just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful in this piece. And it was just fun. Sometimes you get in, you start a piece, and you just, that's all you want to stitch on. And that was this piece. So she was started in April, finished the beginning of May. She went to Florida with me. And this one, this was my oldest whip. I started her in 2013, got in a fight, pulled her out again, got in a fight. <laughs> Which is one of those pieces. This is Persephone by Mirabilia. I did not like the background, so I left the background off. But 10 years in the making. This is on 32 count. Lugana. It is called Vintage Antique Fields. It is a dyed fabric, but I have no idea who dyed it. But all her bling. Bling, 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 bling. And I think last time I showed it, I had this chunk done. No beads. If you're going to stitch her the light green color, whatever number that is, that one and the ice color, which is 2010, because I use that on a lot of projects. You might need more than the packets. If they say two packets, get three. Um, but definitely the light green. I, I ran out. But she's done, and it feels good to have her done. And this one is also a Mira. I originally started her in 2018. The problem was I messed up. And this was during the time that my daughter was receiving chemotherapy. Probably why I messed it up. I couldn't figure out what I did wrong. I tried to count and recount and all the things. And then I finally said, forget that. I removed the stitches I had and I restarted in her hair. So last time I showed her, I had a little blob of hair right in this area, but she's finished. 
Renaissance Mermaid by Mirabilia. 32 count Aura, A-U-R-A, -A, is the fabric. It is dyed by Fiberlicious. Some of the pictures, this looks more pink than purple. So again, each piece of fabric is different. And I originally bought the fabric for Andromeda, which I haven't stitched yet. But Andromeda only needs a fat eighth. This is a full fat quarter. So then I thought, oh, this one will be perfect on it. Now, the original pattern has something here that you stitch and bead. Didn't like it. So instead, I kind of jerry-rigged this. And then this here is, I think they call it a charm. Looks kind of big for a charm, in my opinion, but I don't make jewelry, so maybe that's the technical term for it. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, and I had to kind of redo this a little bit, and it's, this called for like a beaded chain, if you will, down to whatever was originally charted. I, I think I had to either add or shorten it just a little bit to make this piece work, but it fits in there just perfectly. So two Miras in one year. Considering how much I didn't have done on her when I picked her up, I did good. <laughs> I did well on that, I should say. It was good, decent grammar. I finished beating her in Branson, Missouri, August. And my husband and I went down there. We had a conference, and so I... I went to Cecilia's and I went to the quilt shops and then I hung out at the, I don't know if it's a bed and breakfast, well, because they didn't offer any kind of food. It's called the Branson Hotel. At one point in time, this probably was a bed and breakfast and they've converted it to a hotel. Really nice place to stay. <clears throat> Give me just one second here. Sorry, I had a quick blow my nose. Now we'll show stuff I know I've had progress on. And I'm going to be stepping in and out of frame. So, first on the list is With the Needle 2, Needle Studios. Here's a picture. When I showed her last time, I had this guy one two three done or I was finishing this one I can't remember if I was totally finishing it or had it finished and I wasn't sure how to do this one because I wanted to personalize it but I figured it out what I wanted to do so 40 count 40 count natural here it is Yes, 40 count natural. I'm using the called for colors, one strand over two threads. And on, on the Miras that I just showed, I used two strands over two threads called for colors. And the Spring, uh, spring Quaker, I used one strand over two threads. So now I have this guy all done and the four boxes above. And I personalized by, there are flowers in the original design and I just made 14 flowers for my children instead of four or five that was originally called for in the pattern. So there's no people in mine, that's fine. And this was an open space because in the original pattern, one of the figures would be here. So I just took this tree and I stitched it again, except I cut it essentially cut off part of it because it just looked like there was something needed. So I, I did that and I think it calls for this pink color originally and not the blue, but I just pulled a blue from the overall design. Our last names, four letters, that was easy, 1992 is when we got married. Tried to make these look more like our Labradoodle dogs with the curled tail. And 
So that's been progress on that one. This one will probably come out possibly in January. So I'm going to do the Garan Stitchery Focus. And Leela Studios is January. But my New Year New Start is Summer Quaker by Leela Studios. And if, if I like it as much as I like the spring one, I'm just going to be stitching on that. And just going for it. Right there. Just wait a second. I have the one I'm currently stitching on. And it's called This is the Day by Plum Street. I If I had the called for colors, I'm using them. But I did not have hickory sticks or blue coat red or cherry cobbler. So I chose from my over dyes, my other over dyes. Fiberlicious was one of them. And I Ruby Slippers, I think, is a general arts. And I don't remember what the other one, what company it is. Some 40 count flax. It's one strand over two threads. Still have it on my roller frame. And here is where I'm at. So I just have, there's a goat here. And then there's like a flower here. And then that top border. And I have another swirl here. And then there's like these little bits here. They kind of just float in and out. So I'm getting there. All the mortar is done. All the window, did I finish the windows? Oh, I got this one window I have to finish. These bottom two squares. But that's also, the swirls the same color. So when I do those, I'll come up and finish the swirl. So it's almost done. 40 count flax, one strand over two threads. So that is the one I'm currently working on. This one, I did not, oops, that was a pattern. I don't remember seeing her in my last whip video. So I'm assuming I started her. I think I started her January 1st. I should have looked that up. I don't have the date that listed there. And I can't find the picture. Well, that stinks. It's Queen of Freedom by Mirabilia. Oh, here it is. It was originally pr uh, put out, printed and made available in 2002. thinking she's out of print. Some of them are out of print and some of them aren't. This one might be out of print. I am not sure. But I think she was my new year new start for 2023. If I remember right. Her. I just don't remember seeing her in the video. 32 count French lilac by Picture This Plus. And just very little done on her, looking on the flag. Purple and golds tend to complement each other. So when I get to the gold dress, I think she'll really pop on this fabric. She just hasn't been calling to me. Or was Amelia Boyce? She might have been my new year new start. I don't remember. This one needs to go over here. This one, I don't remember when I started it. This Colombian Nymphalid. North of it. She is on 32 count. The Dance of Autumn. Fiberlicious. On 32 count, I usually use two strands. On 36 and 40 count, I usually use one strand. And here she is. Again, I could have started her in 2022, and I just don't remember seeing her in that video. Um, 
there are six in this series and um, I've put them all on really bright fabrics to pull out all those browns and blues and black colors. This one is the 12 Days of Christmas by Country Cottage Samplers. I had this one complete. This is day one. This one wasn't 100% complete last time I saw him or showed him, but he is now, at least in that whip video. This is day number 12. And this, you can kind of see the border. This is eight ladies dancing, nine ladies dancing. It's the ladies dancing, however many that is. 40 count natural. One strand over two threads. For the most part, I'm using the called for. But at some point in time, I want to finish all 12 of them. So here's the 12 drummers, day one, six geese a laying, two turtle doves, three French hens, four collie birds. I know in America we usually say calling. Five golden rings, ten lords leaping, eight maids milking, so it is nine. And number 11, mm -hmm. I don't see, oh, 11 Piper's Piping is right here. It's stuck behind one of them. So eventually I'll have those done and somehow put them on my tree and all the things. The clothes we set for ourselves. This is the one I'm not sure if I'm going to finish. Use what talents you possess by all through the night. Not using the call for. This is 40 count. This could be 36 count. It is uh, Weeks Dye Works Putty, P U T T Y. It's either 36 or 40 count. Here's where I'm at. Choosing my own colors. So. This is when I keep going back and forth. Do I want to finish it or not? We will see. We will see what I design what I decide. This one, Sweet Land of Liberty book by Blackbird Designs. I know I haven't finished the rose, but I showed this one. And I had just a smidge done up here. I have a little more than that now. Fox and Rabbit Mayflower. Here's where I'm at. This one I can see working on. Because if I remember correctly, it doesn't go down much. And it starts on that one. So it probably goes down to about here. And it's not a huge sampler. I'm not using the called for thread gatherer silks. I'm using dinky dyes. There's only three colors, but I love all the patterns in this particular book. At some point, I'll have them all done. I'm going to put that one over here. This one is a new start. It is by Arlene Cohen, works by ABC. And it is exquisite lace. 30, no, I think it's 40 count. Let me double check. Um, not sure if it's 36 or 40 count. It is fabrics by Stephanie. It is 40 count. Simple, simply sage. Fabrics by Stephanie, and I chose to start on one of the sides, so I turned my pattern and fabric to one of the sides. 
is I have a big enough roll of frame, my 28 incher, that I thought it would give me lots to work on. And I'm using um, Dinky Dye's Natural Silk Floss. Excuse me. Winter Hill, Rosewood Manor, 40 count antique white. This guy, these beautiful colors. And this, I think she calls for Sullivan's, yeah. But she also gives you DMC colors. And not incredibly far, but I started this just maybe a month ago or two months ago. Fragments in Time, Summer House Stitch Works. I've shown some of these before. And I showed them in that video. 40 count Woodland Brown in the called for colors. One strand over two threads and I have one through eight done. I have to make two sets. So I have number one done twice. And I was working on number the second one of that. I, I think I lost interest because I think this is my least favorite block. I'm not sure why. I think my favorite block is either this one or this one. So what I think I need to do is just go ahead and start stitching this one. These four borders are very simple where these are a little more detailed. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. But... I need to finish these because these are supposed to be the 2022 Christmas ornaments for my family. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And yes, I started the 2023 series. 40 count raw. I am using the called for colors one strand over two threads. This is block one and this is block two. So I'm halfway done with block one and again I need to make two sets of these because these are 2023's ornaments just a wee bit behind on those yeah when you're dealing with all these whips you got to move around and make a mess this is Mer Bella Filipina Marie Mockling I still haven't decided if I want to do her wings or not. Kept going back and forth on the wings. This is 32 count J by Picture This Plus. And I really don't have that much done. But I know I started it in 2023. And I kind of use these videos for myself kind of as a video journal. It really helps me. Oh, feathers. Rosewood Manor. Progress. This one? I know I started it in 2022. It's on 36 count pearl gray. And I did that because I am using the sulkies. And I thought if I went to 40 count, the sulkies might be a little tight. So I chose to go to 36. You use it as it come off the spool. It comes off the spool. And here's where I'm at. Like last time I had I, I definitely had the black on there and I had like two circles and, and this little bit. But I've added all this and I've added this and these guys. So, some progress. He is bigger than he first appears in the picture. But the sulkies are, I was surprised how nice they were to work on. I wasn't quite sure if I'd like them, but I do like them. <clears throat> Sorry. It's, we've had very little snow in Minnesota so far, which is fine. I'm good with it. 
Last year we had record breaking snowfalls, multiple places in Minnesota. So I'm good with holding off on the snow. Not a problem with in my book. I know some people are really disappointed, but I'm good. Cassiopeia, she was my oldest whip. I always try and stitch on my oldest whip. But I originally started her on this 32 count Gothic by Picture This Plus. It's a beautiful fabric and I like Picture This Plus fabrics to stitch on, but she's not popping like I thought she would. So, and purple and green, those also complement each other a lot too, but you gotta get the right shades. So uh, at the retreat in May, I went to Fort Lauderdale, I picked up 32 count Driftwood fabrics by Stephanie. So I'm going to restart her on that because I, I definitely don't like the fabric in the model and I think she'll look good on this and I don't think that this this is this border it has a lot of metallics in it and I am going to put the border on I don't think it's going to clash with this so I got to restart her this one is for my oldest daughter oh and I mentioned her cancer treatments in 2018 next month in January of 2024 she will have her final checkup with her oncologist and then she should not need to be seen by her oncologist anymore who was a really really good doctor um because when you're in that situation particularly out of the blue let's just say her bedside manner is is fabulous so valentine's day Okay, I must have moved that piece then. Oh, she's right here. Um, Rabinaw, if you're in the Twin Cities area. She's at a Methodist hospital in uh, St. Louis Park. Very, very good bedside manner. But she's five, uh, Valentine's Day 2024. She'll be five years out, of, out from being cancer-free. And she's doing well. We saw her on Christmas Day and... My cousin's going down this path with her daughter, and um, it's bringing a lot of memories. This one, Sleeping Princess, is for my middle daughter, and it's my oldest whip, and will be stitched on in 2024. Will she be a finish? I honestly don't know, but here's where I'm at. 32 count mushroom. That is one. It, she is very blingy. I've seen her in real life. Very, very blingy. So she will definitely be stitched on in 2024. Oops. Get all my pieces and bits and bobs back in this bag. In an update video, you can consolidate a little easier. This one, Greatest Loss Sampler Cove. Sampler Cove Designs. She is, well, she's lived in Thailand. Her name is Diane Jordan. Jordan. She's lived in Thailand for a number of years. I don't know if she's still there. But this one, it just spoke to me. And I am using the call for Overa Swass Silk. Was I stitching on that? I think when I stitched on or showed it last time, I had this band done. This is on 40 count platinum. One strand, well, there are specialty stitches in this piece. So, regular cross stitch, I'm just using one strand. With regard to the specialty stitches, I follow those directions. No metallics or beads in this piece, but here's where I'm at. And those queen stitches in this guy, the flowers are queen stitches. <laughs> no joke. They are no joke. These flowers here, the purple, four-sided stitch, those are fun. And these leaves are all the eyelets. And then there's been some oh, I can't remember what they call them. There's a certain type of like an elongated cross stitch and somewhere in here. So I'm about halfway. This is, they call it the front, um, 
the CC band, or essentially this is all full across, and then you backstitch. I can't remember if I backstitch in a different, like a gold color, because there's several shades of purple, blue, green, and gold. And then the, the backstitch, you get all the detail in the backstitch. Um, but it's a lot of this purple stitching. So I need to, this one's kind of calling to me a little bit. So work on that one. But if you don't like specialty stitches, this is probably not the piece for you. I will say I have done her Dutch beauty or double Dutch. It was in the gift of stitching magazine and then it was released separately. That one is basic cross stitch and a little bit of back stitching. Beautiful. And I have it hanging over there. Okay. This one is Matthew's Quaker Gardens. The little guy. Um, 40 count. Silver Moon. I'm using a blue silk. I, I don't know how far that is, but uh, it's a Gloriana silk that I'm using called Midnight. One strand over two threads. Kind of sorting as I go. This one, Let Freedom Ring. I don't remember what I showed last time, but this one, I know there's a sell. And again, Lilo Studios is January. I'm seriously, I don't like this. So I'm thinking of leaving that off. I have this all done. This guy, this guy, this all done. Otherwise, to be honest, I would have just stopped the building and called it good because it's an impressive design. 36 count primitive, excuse me, properly primitive under the sea fabrics. I am using the called for colors, one strand over two threads. And here, oh, I didn't have the bell done. I thought I had the bell done. Here's where I'm at. I started on the people down below which I don't think I showed last time. I'm not sure if I had those birds above the flag done or not. So there's too much to rip out. It would look wonky. But the building's all backstitched and everything's done on the building. So I need to motivate myself to get this one done. And still I'm not sure about that top border. Just not sure about it. She's a sizable piece. If you've not done a Lila Studios pattern, her symbols are really, really nice to read. This one I know I showed Be Like a Crow, Erica Michaels. I've worked on the strawberry a little more. Go that way? Does it go this way? I don't remember. But I've really stitched a lot on the silk gauze. I'm starting to fill in all up here. So you stitched all the inner bits and then you go back and you fill in the background. 40 count silk gauze, I want to say. And it's the DMC I'm filling it in with. One strand. And you do the Do the continental to fill in this stuff, and then you do the basket to do this. Or is it the other way around? I can't remember. But I did a little bit on that, a schmidge. So I'm going to see if I did any more schmidge than one that I showed in that video. Don't worry about that one. The Bristol Sampler. This was from the final uh, 
issue of the Gifted Stitching magazine. I'm using 816 instead of the call for DMC 40 count white. And I know I've had progress on this guy in that video. Because I finished the second alphabet and started this one. I, I don't know if I was completely finished with this alphabet in the last video. And that alphabet all the way at the bottom. So yeah, this is definitely a long-term piece. And sometimes I'm in the mood just to stitch letters, and other times I'm not. So you just go with it when you need to go with it. And then I have one more. Maybe two. This was a new start in 2023 at the retreat at the Lauderdale. Sunshine and Blooms by Teresa Cogut. Now this was an exclusive for the retreat, but should be released possibly in 2024. So keep your eye out for it. 40 count. It is the call for color. Grandpa's sleeve, I think. It is by X Jude Designs. The fabric is. Sorry, I don't have it readily available, but I'm going to go with that. 40 count Grandpa's sleeve X Jude Designs with the called for colors. And here is the little bit I have done. It should only go down about here, so I still have a chunk to play with. I've never stitched on extra design fabrics. Very nice. I'm using one strand over two threads. And again, this pattern should be released sometime in 2024. It's up to Teresa when she releases it. This one, sorry, I have a wonky thread here. I, I love zippered project bags, but sometimes the threads get caught in the zipper. Autumn Hill, Rosewood Manor. For a uh, yeah, 40 count antique white. I'm, I'm gonna do the whole series and I'm gonna do them all on antique white in DMC, one strand over two threads. And here's where I'm at on, the, on that one. I have not started Spring Hill or Summer Hill. I do have them kitted but they are not started. And the colors are just yummy on these pieces. Carrie is a genius in my opinion. This one, bottom. Rack Straw Hill. Yeah. Oops. Okay, this one. Because I Instead of worrying about counting, I have enough fabric here. I could get more than one piece on it, but I didn't want to start up here. I was worried about getting wonky. So what I did is I started in this corner. So I flipped the whole pattern over, made sure the piece was going the right way. So it's landscape rather than portrait. Which is why I have my sticky note on there to remind myself stitch from the bottom to the top the chart upside down otherwise I'd never remember and I'm using the DMC's and this is a piece that my daughter gifted me last Christmas Weeks Dye Works 36 count tiger's eye and here's where it's at so this is again landscape, but I have a lot of fabric. So I want to make sure that I'm kind of a fabric miser in that regard. I don't always start in the center, but I know I've started that in 2023. 
And then the boys. She was my new year new start 2023. This one, Scarlet Letter. I do not like this fabric. It is ivory, 40 count. I just, I don't know. I do not like the fabric. So I think I need to restart her. You know, if you have a, a fabric that you like, it's so much easier and nicer to stitch on a piece. You know, I'm going to un just unkit her and restart her on a different piece of fabric one day. Gratitude. No, I, I showed that one. I think I showed that one too. This one I started in 2023. And it is a Bella Filipina. Aquila? Kia? She's on a roller frame, but she's not. I only have one set of sideboards. I need to. At some point, invest in another one. Here is where she is at. So she is very, very pretty. And here's the fabric she's on. The fabric is 32 count. Rolling, like you roll a ball down a hill. In the deep by Fiberlicious. Instead of using the cranics that are called for in the design, I swapped them out for Petite Treasure Braid. Some of his newer patterns, he is giving you that option already on the pattern, but he didn't on a Aquila. So I literally took the cranics at Stitchville over to the Petite Treasure Braid area and picked out ones that I liked. Yeah, I think that is as close as I possibly can get. So my WIPCO numbers that were called are 9 and 22. Both of them are samplers. So yeah, it kind of takes care of itself. I really want to finish This Is The Day by Plum Street. And then kit, I have it all kitted up. I have Summer Quaker kitted up by Leela Studios. I don't know if I'll do that on New Year's Day. Toying with taking my tree down tomorrow. Rearranging the furniture, getting it ready for homeschool. Uh, the living room ready for homeschool. Um, where they received Barnes & Noble gift certificates. Might take them there. I don't know. I keep going back and forth what I'm going to do tomorrow. But it will definitely be down either on, if it's not tomorrow, it'll be on New Year's Day. So, um, usually on New Year's Days, I'm running around doing stuff like that. And we'll start up uh, homeschool again next week. Uh, my son has recovered from his tonsillectomy. And both were inflamed. One of the tonsils was had an abscess infection, so it would have caused even more issues down the line. So it was good that we had it done now. Uh, he had a couple, had a few rough days there, but he's he's good. Uh, he's still watching the temperature of food and the texture of food. Every once in a while, I'll throw him, not because it's healing as much as there used to be something there, and now there's nothing there. So he's got to get used to that. But, yeah, we have our recital tonight. My parents' anniversary is on Saturday, although we won't be able to go to them. But yeah, it's a pretty straightforward week. And they got a, we bought the kids an Xbox for Christmas as a big family gift. So they're breaking it in. But I'll let y'all go. Trying to figure out my quilting frame and we'll see what else I put up here. 
So, uh, have a good welcoming of 2024. And I hope 2024 is good for us all. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe it's already here. I'll have a grad in May again. Now, now it's every other year for me. So we have that to look forward to and plan for. And we'll do an open house probably toward his birthday in August. But, um, yeah, that's all I have. Although, <laughs> with this quilting frame, you're supposed to have a fabric leader. So sometimes when we use our, our roller frames, you don't have enough fabric to go in the roller frame to roll, so you'll you'll sew a piece of fabric on, because that's a leader. And I didn't know I needed one. If I buy theirs, it's like another two hundred dollars. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Somebody said, No, you can make your own. So I was joking that I'm on a list somewhere because I went and bought a drop cloth and fifty foot of rope. So <laughs> people are like, okay, why is she having a drop cloth and rope? So I'll make my own, but I hope to, to play with that a little bit and we'll see what I, I come up with. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let y'all go. This is long enough. I don't need to talk anymore, <laughs> but I'm just seeing if I have forgotten anything else. I don't think I have. The only haul that I have was I did purchase pattern number eight of the polar or sorry not number eight number six of the polar plunge series uh from hands on design because that's going to be my 2024 ornaments and i also bought the mat board that i'll need to mount them i haven't used i haven't cut mat board i've done foam core this should be pretty easy hopefully i'll use my paper scissors not my sewing scissors for sure um But yeah, I think that's all. And a reminder that in the Polar Plunge series number six, the narwhal, 100% of the proceeds from that from the sale of that particular design uh, specifically go to Special Olympics that Kathy Haberman and her husband, Mr. HOD, they're very involved in Special Olympics. And um, so 100% of that goes to Special Olympics. Okay, my phone is having problems because I bought a second. You can't have just buy one design. Hello, what is going on? I did buy a second design. Download only. So, it's this one. Let me adjust the brightness. This one and is for Narwhal. And then I also purchased from her PDF files. Oh, this one. Come on, you dumb thing. Handwork here. Handwork. So I purchased those two patterns. Aside from that, I received some gifts. And I'm going to just play with them. So... Love to you all. See you in 2024. And again, 2024 is my 10th year on floss tube. So I have some ideas on how I want to celebrate. And we'll see what happens. But I'll keep you updated. Love to you all.